Hi, welcome to our match tutorial. Our topic is about quadrilaterals. DNA is at the corner. All the figures shown at the right are all examples of quadrilaterals. Now, let's know more about quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a polygon with exactly four sides and four angles. The sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. For example, the measure of each angle in this quadrilateral is 70 degrees, 130 degrees, 52 degrees, and 108 degrees. If we add these four angles, the sum is 360 degrees. So again, a quadrilateral has four sides and the sum of its four interior angles is 360 degrees. There are different types of quadrilaterals. Now, let's talk about special quadrilaterals. The first type of quadrilateral that we're going to talk about is a parallelogram. A parallelogram has two pairs of congruent and parallel sides. For example, we have this pair of opposite sides. These two sides are parallel, and of course, they are congruent. If this side measures 11 centimeters, the other side measures 11 centimeters also. Now, if the measurement of this side is 7 centimeters, the other side measures 7 centimeters. So again, a parallelogram has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel and equal. Now, let's talk about the angles in a parallelogram. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. So we have here two pairs of congruent angles. If this angle measures 124 degrees, the angle opposite this angle is also 124 degrees. Now, if this angle measures 56 degrees, the angle opposite this one is also 56 degrees. So again, in a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. Let's proceed to a rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram. It has two pairs of opposite sides that are congruent. So if this side is 12 centimeters, the side opposite it is also 12 centimeters. Similarly, if the length of this side is 6 centimeters, the side opposite it is also 6 centimeters. All angles in a rectangle are congruent, which are all right angles or each angle measures 90 degrees. Obviously, the opposite angles are congruent. So again, in a rectangle, opposite sides are parallel and equal and every angle is a right angle. Now let's talk about rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram. Opposite sides in a rhombus are parallel, but all sides of a rhombus are congruent. So for example, each side of this rhombus measures 7 centimeters. Now let's talk about the angles in a rhombus. Opposite angles in a rhombus are congruent. For example, we have angles A, B, C, and D. Angle A is congruent with angle C. If this is 40 degrees, angle C is equal to 40 degrees also. If angle D is 140 degrees, then angle B measures 140 degrees. Notice that in a rhombus, four angles are not congruent. There is one pair of angles that are obtuse angles, and there is one pair of angles that are acute angles. Again, let us remember that in a rhombus, opposite angles are congruent. A square has the properties of both rectangle and rhombus. Just like a rhombus, all its sides are congruent. But in a square, all angles are congruent just like in rectangle. Each angle of a square measures 90 degrees or each angle is a right angle. 
Let us remember that a square has four congruent sides and four right angles. We have discussed different types of a quadrilateral which are parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and square. Again, rectangle, rhombus, and square are all parallelogram, and they are all quadrilateral. The property of a rectangle which has four congruent angles or four right angles is also present in a square. The property of a rhombus which has four congruent sides is also present in a square. Now, how about quadrilaterals that are not parallelogram? Let's talk about kite and trapezoid. Now, let's talk about trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides but are not congruent. Now let's proceed to a type of trapezoid which is isosceles trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. At the same time, the other two sides are congruent. Now let's proceed to a kite. A kite is a type of a quadrilateral. In a kite, two pairs of adjacent or consecutive sides are equal to each other. So in this example, we have this sides that are adjacent, these two sides are congruent. Also, these two adjacent sides are also congruent to each other. So in a kite, if we draw diagonals, you can see that the diagonals are perpendicular. So the diagonals formed right angles. Additionally, one pair of opposite angles in a kite are congruent. So there's only one pair of angles that are congruent in a kite. Again, in a kite, two pairs of adjacent sides are congruent and there's only one pair of opposite angles that are congruent. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for more updates.